Welcome to this edition of Ethical Sustainable Investment News and Analysis to Profit By. I'm Ron Robbins, an ethical investing pioneer for over 40 years, quoted in the Wall Street Journal, Market Watch, The Globe and Mail, and numerous other media, and founder of the highly respected global ethical sustainable investing information website, Investing for the Soul. And please listen to my disclosure, disclaimer statement at the end of this podcast. Now enjoy this podcast. Hello, Ron Robbins here. Welcome to podcast episode 76, published on February 11th, 2022, titled Beat Inflation with These ESG Stocks, Analyst, and presented by Investing for the Soul. Investingforthesoul.com is your site for vital global, ethical and sustainable investing news, commentary, information and resources. Remember that you can find a full transcript, links to content, including stock symbols, quotes and bonus material at this episode's podcast page located at investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts. Now, just a reminder, I do not evaluate any of the stocks or funds mentioned in this podcast. Furthermore, if you're concerned about the ESG and sustainability ratings of any stock or fund included in this podcast, check your broker's online site for such information. If your broker doesn't have this information, sign up for free with Morningstar and you can gain access to company and fund ESG sustainability ratings. Please note, I receive no compensation from Morningstar or anyone else covered in these podcasts. Also, if any terms are unfamiliar to you, simply Google them. Now, we're hearing a lot about inflation. So take note of this article titled Beat Inflation with Three Stocks That Bet Against Oil in Favor of EVs and the Renewable Power Grid. It's by Rachel Koning Bills and found on MarketWatch.com. Here are some quotes. Ivana Delavaska founder and chief investment officer at SPEAR, which runs the actively managed SPEAR Alpha ETF, already guides the fund toward disruptive industrial technology stocks. Now she has her sights on what looks to be an inflation-tolerant trio of companies that can counter energy price volatility. 1. Levent Corp. It is very advantageously positioned as a lithium manufacturer, which is expected to remain a key bottleneck component in the production of EVs. Its shares are down nearly 8% so far in 2022, after a 13% gain in the past year. The second one is ChargePoint Holdings. The Levska called it a diversified play on the theme because the company offers hardware and software to fleet, residential and commercial customers. Among other factors, charging support got a boost in the bipartisan infrastructure legislation passed last year. But the most robust government request for funding to back EVs and their charging network has been hung up in a stored Build Back Better bill. 3. Eaton Corp. The power management company, which helps wind turbine operators, for instance, convert power into electricity and transport it to the grid. Shares are down 12% in the year to date, cutting into a nearly 25% one year gain. End quotes. Returning to familiar territory, is an article by a regularly featured analyst, Matthew DeLalo, of The Motley Fool. 
found on Nasdaq.com. It's titled Top 3 Energy Stocks for 2022 and Beyond. Here are some quotes from Mr. Delalo. 1. Brookfield Renewable. It owns hydroelectric, wind, solar and energy storage facilities across North and South America, Europe and Asia. Brookfield sells to utilities and large corporate customers under long-term fixed-rate power purchase agreements. Brookfield distributes most of its cash flow to investors through a dividend that currently yields 3.7%. In addition, Brookfield sees up to 9% of additional cash flow per share growth as it continues making value-enhancing acquisitions. His second pick, Enbridge. Enbridge is one of the largest energy infrastructure companies in North America. Currently, fossil fuels supply the bulk of Enbridge's income. However, the company has been slowly pivoting toward cleaner energy sources like natural gas and renewables over the years. Its legacy assets are generating cash that Enbridge is using to pay an attractive dividend. It currently yields 6.3% and reinvests into cleaner energy infrastructure projects. Meanwhile, it's investing in emerging clean energy projects like hydrogen and carbon capture and storage. The third pick is Next Era Energy. It operates one of the cleanest electric utilities in the country, Florida Power and Light, and a leading energy production and infrastructure business, Next Era Energy Resources. Overall, it's one of the world's largest energy producers from the wind and sun. It's also a leader in battery storage. That should drive continued growth in Next Era's 2% yielding dividend. This year, it sees around 10% dividend growth, with future increases likely to track earnings growth. End quotes. Now, governance is the G in ESG, and that's what this article is concerned with. It's titled, Three Best Corporate Governance Stocks to Buy Right Now. It's by Melissa Brock and seen on marketbest.com. Here are some quotes from Ms. Brock on her picks. The first one is Alcoa Corp. She says Alcoa Corp produces bauxite, alumina, and aluminum products through bauxite mining operations at which processes bauxite into alumina, as well as smelting and casting operations to produce primary aluminum. Alcoa expects all directors, officers, and other employees to conduct business in compliance with a strict code of conduct and the company surveys compliance on an annual basis. The company carefully outlines the role of its board of directors and director responsibilities, including the core responsibilities to exercise business judgment and act in the best interests of the company and its stockholders. In 2021, overall, the company posted the highest annual net income of $429 million and earnings per share of $2.26 and generated revenue of $12.2 billion, an increase of 31% from 2020. Second pick is Newmont Corporation. Newmont Corp is a gold producer in North America, South America, Nevada, Australia, and Africa. Newmont Corp's Code of Conduct publicly lays out the high standards of conduct expected of employees, officers and directors, as well as partners, vendors and contractors. Newmont is a founding member of the Partnering Against Corruption initiative and adheres to a strict business integrity policy and standards 
designed to prevent corruption. Newmont has an independently operated 24-hour hotline called the Integrity Helpline, in which any stakeholder can report unsafe and unethical behaviour. Newmont ended Q3 with $4.6 billion of consolidated cash and $7.6 billion of liquidity over the last four quarters. Newmont has steadily invested in operations while returning more than $2 billion to shareholders through dividends and share buybacks. His third pick is CBRE Group Inc. CBRE Group Inc. provides commercial real estate and investment services through its advisory services, global workplace solutions, and real estate investment segments, including property leasing, capital markets, property management, project management services, and valuation services, contractually based outsourcing services, and global investment management services. Its standards of business contact was completely revised in 2021, so its workforce of more than 100,000 employees could read and understand it. The document emphasizes its RISE values, respect, integrity, service, and excellence. Personnel and board members must both act ethically and adhere to standards of business conduct. Capital markets activity and global property sales revenue exceeded posted United States increases, with revenue up 116%. International markets also saw strong increases versus last year's third quarter, paced by Australia and the United Kingdom. End quotes. Now, I'm excited by this fund featured in this article. A new ESG fund launches today. Why its top holdings are GM and Occidental. It's by Evie Liu and was on Barons.com. Quote, The path to cutting carbon emissions to zero has to go through the largest emitters. Engine number one, the investment firm behind the successful shareholder campaign to reshape oil giant ExxonMobil, believes. That's why the firm launched an exchange-traded fund to invest in legacy companies that will drive and benefit from the energy transition. The Transform Climate ETF focuses on firms in some of the largest carbon-emitting industries, such as transportation, energy and agriculture, that has shown commitment to credible decarbonization plans. It will also look for firms whose products and services help enable the transition to a low-carbon economy. We believe there is no way to decarbonize the planet without these companies transforming, and there is no time to lose, says Engine Number 1 founder Chris James. The fund's top three holdings at launch are General Motors, Deere and Occidental Petroleum, names you don't see often in green funds. The Transform Climate Fund is Engine Number 1's second ETF and first actively managed thematic fund. It charges an annual expense ratio of 0.75%. End quotes. Want just one ESG fund to invest in? You might want to review this article titled One Fund to Invest in a Sustainable Future. It's by Frederick Slade and found on Fool.com. Quote, The iShares USA ESG Select ETF has a Morningstar score of 5 and an MSCI score of AAA while a competitor, the Calvert Equity Fund A, has scores of 5 and double A, respectively. The iShares Fund scores higher with MSCI in part 
because its top five holdings include only one stock with an MSCI rating below A. That's Alphabet Inc. Class A, which is rated triple B, average for its industry. Morningstar and MSCI's approaches to scoring sustainability differ, so you should use both to research different funds. The expense ratio for an actively managed fund, such as Calvert Equity A, can approach 1%, while it's 0.94% in Calvert's case. Passive funds like iShares USA ESG Select ETF have expense ratios in the 0.1 to 0.25% range. If you're looking for a diversified fund that scores well in sustainability and boosts your portfolio's return, iShares USA ESG Select ETF might make a great place to start your search. End quotes. Now we have some analyst recommendations related to UK, Australian and European ESG stocks and funds. 1. Title Five Exciting Investment Funds to Keep an Eye on in 2022 It's on the full.com UK site by George Sweeney. Two of the funds might be considered by ethical and sustainable investors. They are the Trojan Ethical Income and Legal and General Future World ESG Developed Index. Second is titled Two ASX Shares Riding the Wave of Green Energy and Ethical Investing on 4.com Australia. They are Australian Ethical Investments Limited and Fortescue Metals Group Limited. The latter has a significant and growing green energy and green technology with a vision to make green hydrogen, says the author of the article. 3. Title Financial Friday, which sustainable funds are investors buying? And that's on the fidelity.co.uk site. By Toby Sims. Quote, Runaway leader, the LG MSCI World Socially Responsible Investment SRI Index Fund, as well as the iShares Global Clean Energy USITS ETF and the LG Future World Climate Equity Factors Index on the list are all passive funds. End quote. Well, these are my top news stories with their stock and fund tips for this podcast. Beat inflation with these ESG stocks, analyst. To get all the links, stock symbols, or to read the transcript of this podcast and more, go to investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts and scroll down to this episode. Also, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons in Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you download or listen to this podcast. And please click the share buttons to share this podcast with your friends and family. Let's promote a better post-COVID world through ethical and sustainable investing. Contact me if you have it. Any questions? Stay well and healthy and conscious about the ethical and sustainable values of your investments. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next on February 25th. Bye for now. Learn how to create a simple portfolio reflecting your personal values by taking my one-hour tutorial go to investingforthesoul.com forward slash podcasts and click the link in the right hand column for my DIY ethical sustainable investing pays tutorial. Now I'll mention in the podcast if I have any direct interest or holdings in companies or securities I'm talking about. Furthermore, any news, opinions, analysis or other information offered by myself 
as well as references and information to or from other external sources in this podcast is provided as general market information and should not be relied upon and thus does not constitute investment advice. Investors should consult their own licensed investment professional before making investments. Also, I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from use of or reliance on information in this podcast. Do contact me at ron r at investingforthesoul.com. Signing off, this is Ron Robbins.